This is a 1GR-FE V6 from Toyota in the FJ Cruiser, also featured in 4Runner and Tacoma. Now, I just took the water pump off. See, it looks to me like there's a lot of oil in there where there should be radiator fluid. And uh, that's just telling me more signs of a leaking head gasket. Um, eventually, I got enough of these bolts off of this front cover, timing chain cover, and took off the alternator, AC, and power steering. Finally get this off. You start to pry it off and it's not coming, you must have missed one bolt, so be very careful. There's four coming up from the bottom, and just so many all around the whole thing, and through the middle. So looking at this, and my pulleys were pretty rusted, got those all off, but everything all the bolts came out really easily compared to New York cars, which I'm accustomed to working on. Inside here, there is some sludge and some crud, and there are tiny little pieces of debris, which I'm figuring out and we'll see coming up here. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. It's just uh, up on the, the driver's side there, there was some junk in there. Well, I'll focus in on that. So, <clears throat> timing chain was kind of loose on the left side, and it was super tight on the right side. There's a piece of something. I think I think these little circular pieces are just uh, part of the silicone or whatever seal they used around the bolts. Okay, getting a peek in there. I keep dropping parts down into this oil pan using my magnet to get them out. And just taking a quick look at these cams. It's been pretty cool to see, you know, what sensors are in which positions um, and what little actuators there are, like for changing the valve timing. That's the, uh, this guide on the left can just pull straight off, but the guide on the right, uh, there's two bolts for it. So taking a look down in here to the top intake. Got that off. Of course, I missed a couple bolts, so I was prying on it. I shouldn't have been. Finally found them. And I want to zoom in eventually. Let's wait. Let's look at these um, parts first. I got my all my cam parts organized in one box, um, left and right sides, and then all my accessories in the other, and in, uh, intake, lower intake. So look at this um, ten tensioner. Now, look at a matching one here. Black plastic on top. And right down here in this crevice is where the black plastic piece is that should be on the top of that chain tensioner. And I'll look up here again. See, just metal. And that one just falls right off. So that's what those pieces of broken plastic were that I kept finding. And they're getting caught in the chain. Now would that cause an engine to fail? I don't think so. The cams were turning freely, but look at this. Pulled the cover off, and there's this weird seal. Is this like a rubber seal, silicone RTV that someone put in? Or do these, you actually buy these? I'm gonna have to look up the part. But look, it's missing there, and you can see there's uh, evidence of water and oil mixing. So this seal was broken and missing parts of it. If that seal there was also broken, or if there's anywhere for the water to get through, it could mix in with the oil. So that's not good. Maybe that's part of what happened, but I'm assuming now that it's just totally a head gasket problem. Because when I, when I went, just peeking around here, when I went to loosen the head bolts, which is my next video, some of them were really loose. The ones on the lower parts on the exhaust valves, under the exhaust valves. All right, so this video is wrapping up. Oh, there's not the little bolt I've lost down in there. Yeah, I already took the little lower oil pan off, so that's why there's some light coming through. But not too much sludge down here, just a little bit. Probably a lot of those broken plastic pieces. Alright, next video. It's going to be the heads.